I want to say congratulations to Demi Lovato. You see, Demi is a truly inspiring product of these exciting and changing times. Speaking to the Spout podcast, and yes, of course, I mean that Spot podcast. Yeah, she got on somehow. Not those cheap and lowly imitation Spout podcast, no, no. Demi took to the pod waves to announce that she, and I do mean she, don't cancel me yet, she is now returning to she, her pronouns, after revealing last year that she would be using they, them. Now, before your bigoted minds rush to assign her just two genders, you need to slow your hateful roll. Demi will be incorporating she, her, along with they, them, as seen on her Instagram profile. Uh, she is apparently... I'm also seeing something that, involving a misspelled version of the F word, which is heading our way on the 19th. I just can't wait for that to come out. I know I have all of her album uh, or, or, or art. I, I'm not sure exactly what she does. Regarding her newest updated factory labels, Miss, and, and yes, I mean Miss, unless unless she's married. Which, I don't know. Maybe she, maybe she, I guess she could kind of marry herself with all these pronouns. Um, I don't really care about Demi Lovato all that much, That, but I will say this. She had important words to teach us. She said, quote, I'm such a fluid person when it comes to my gender, my sexuality, my music. Ah, she's a musician. And creativity. Recently, I've been feeling more feminine, and so I've adopted she, her again. So courageous. Personally, I am feeling a bit fluid myself, and I do believe my gender is in the process of shifting over to stupidly wealthy and unreasonably buff. That's just me. Sydney Sweeney, you have my number. I've texted it to you 15,000 times. If you catch a break from all those nudie scenes, give me a call. All of us here at Studios America would like to congratulate Demi on her amazing accomplishment, being all of the things to all of the people, all of the time. A lot of us struggle through life with just like one gender, and you're making the journey with more assignments than a Harvard undergrad, and in fact, in light of your stunning example, I'm going to call on every major news and entertainment network to implement a permanent ticker at the bottom of the screen, updating us on the constantly shifting gender status of our most beloved celebrities, like a stock ticker, t telling you the price or the gender that each celebrity is all the time, because who else can possibly keep track of all of this except, you know, CNN? Anything less is not enough, because, and I mean this, who wants to be themselves when they can be everyone else too? We thank you, she, her, they, them, he, his, they, just screw it. Thank you, Demi Lovato.